How do you save time with meal prep? Watch this video to learn my top three strategies. Hey meal preppers, it's Allison, Prep Dish founder, here to help you have a happier, healthier meal time. This month, we are talking about a topic that is really one of the most talked about topics at Prep Dish, and that is time. So the whole point of our meal plans is to try and save you time. Today I'm gonna talk through um, three of my top strategies on how I am more efficient in the kitchen and with my meal prep. So the first one has a fancy name and that's mise en place. This is just culinary speak for having everything in its place. So this is before you even start, getting yourself set up for success. So one thing here is washing all of your produce at once. So anything that I'm chopping for the day, I stick it in the sink or a big bowl and wash everything at once. So then that way I'm not going back and forth from the sink to my cutting board. And then from there, it's actually setting up your chopping station and your cutting board. So grab a good size cutting board, your knife, a trash bowl, compost bowl if you compost, if you save scraps for um, broth, grab a separate bowl for that. So it may look like a lot of different bowls that you have. And then also setting out all of your containers. So I just set out like literally every container I have. So that way, as I'm chopping, I don't have to scramble to find another container for each item that I've chopped. I can just have my stash to the side and kind of grab and pick and choose what I need. Um, all of these things, like it sounds like they might be small, but over the course of an hour or two in the kitchen, they can really add up to save time. So just approaching your workstation as if you were a chef, because really you are, right? So for the you know two hour meal prep session, you're gonna be a chef, so you wanna treat it as such and really have that station set up so where it is as efficient as possible. So the second strategy is gonna include kind of a lot of different tips, but it's how do you become more efficient at chopping? So a lot of times the bulk of a meal prep day is spent cutting and chopping veggies. Because if you wanna eat healthier, you're gonna have to eat more vegetables and typically that involves chopping them, right? So, but how do you become faster at that? And here are a few ideas that I have. One is look at improving your knife skills. So could you take a knife skills class? A lot of grocery stores like in Texas, um, Whole Foods and Central Market offer knife skills classes. So maybe an enrolling in something like that, you know, it's a two or three hour class. And then over the course of the year, that might save you a significant amount of time just because you've sped up the um, amount of time that you spend chopping. So enroll in that. You can also just find on YouTube, you can find um, videos on how to properly chop vegetables a lot of times. And this is something that I learned even so, you know, I went to culinary school and the chefs would teach us how to chop something. But then when I started working in actual kitchens, each chef would chop a veggie different ways. Like I've seen a bell pepper chopped probably 20 different ways, but it was interesting to always see. And so I would try and like, okay, if they chop it this way, I would give it a try. And sure enough, sometimes it would actually be faster or sometimes it wouldn't because sometimes, you know, people just do things out of habit without thinking about it. And so in those early days, I really tried to think through, is this the best way to chop this vegetable? And just think through which one's gonna work best for you. So maybe try different methods for chopping an onion. And you know, over the years, I've still changed up the way I do things because someone will point out, well, you know, why do you do it this way? And anyway, I digress, but just be intentional with how you're chopping things and realize that you could really speed things up. There's a few things that go into this as well. One is your knife. If you have been following me for any amount of time, you know I'm a big proponent, use a decent sized chef's knife. Don't use a small parry knife. It's going to slow you down. Like the small tiny knives do not have a place in your meal prep. <laughs> so invest in a quality knife. Make sure that it's sharp. This is a trap that I fall into is my knife is not sharp enough and that can really slow you down. Um, and then also your cutting board. Make sure it's a good sized um, wooden cutting board and that you have space to really kind of get through everything in a timely manner. Another idea here is that if you're like, okay, I'm still working on that, but it's I've got a ways to go, you can buy pre-chopped veggies. I've even done this from time to time because it saves time, right? So 
Um, the thing to consider here is sometimes the pre-chopped is going to be a little more expensive than just buying it whole. So you kind of have to look at it and decide which one works for you. But the pre-chopped veggies, and these days there are so many more veggies that are available already chopped. So that could be a way to really speed things up. And then the third tip I can't take credit for, there was one of the subscribers, I was doing a Facebook Live interview with her and she's like, well, I chop all my veggies in a food processor. I hadn't thought to do that. And since then I've always given that advice to especially someone that's just starting out or someone that's not as comfortable with their knife skills, try getting a high quality food processor. I can link the one I use because I'm pretty picky about food processors because I found some are not that great. But anyway, if you want to use that for your chopping, that can be a, a good way to get thing, through things very quickly. All of those tips, basically just figuring out how to make that chopping quick and fast. And then my third strategy, and kind of bear with me on this, because when I first say you're gonna be like, that's not saving me time. Um, and that is to find something to listen to. So whether it's a podcast or some really good music, um, I have, there's someone in the prep dish community that actually just watches like Netflix because it's like her time and she knows if she, anyway, but whatever works for you. I usually have music that I really enjoy listening to. Um, does it make it go faster? Well, yes, the time on the clock may be about the same, but if you're listening to a song that you really enjoy or an audio book that you're really into, the time is going to seem as if it fast, it passes more quickly. So in that sense, yes, it is going more quickly and you're enjoying it, which that's my whole thing is if you are really going to stick with meal prep as part of your lifestyle and you want it to be sustainable, you've got to figure out a way to look forward to it and enjoy it. And, and I really want that, you know, I want you to figure out how you can make that happen. And so this piece of it of like, okay, maybe that's, I really love listening to this, you know, it's kind of like a CD, like a track that you listen to in high school that I'm aging myself now, but sometimes that's what I'll do is I'll find on, you know, the, on my phone, I'll find like a CD that I used to love in high school and I'll listen to that as I prep and it really um, makes it a lot more fun that way. I also have some other videos that you could watch. So one is on crock pot freezer meals. It also includes like a download to my, my favorite crock pot freezer meal. And then the second one is sheet pan chicken, but it basically goes over the how to's of using sheet pan meals. And these are also really good for being efficient with your time because everything is going in the oven on one, one pan. 